This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. Don't let your kids watch it! Hey there, Artie! I hope they don't mind the one hour bike ride. Oh, sorry, we got the other club members. We gotta go back to the remake art style now. No, Rena, they're not. No, Rena, don't. <laughs> How's it going, Rika? I really hope the guys don't creep on you. <laughs> She's like, what's the catch? Rena and Rika chan put their forks down when Satoko broached the subject. After looking at them for a few moments, I pressed my forehead firmly to the table. The three of them seemed surprised by the sudden turn of events, but nevertheless listened to what I had to say without making fun of my unusual behavior. Yeah, yeah, her twin, totally. <laughs> Rika would say that. <laughs> yes! Thank you, Satoko, for pointing out the obvious. Uh, I didn't know what to say. <laughs> Rika's like, I have dessert. I don't really care. <laughs> don't be silly. They're not even the same sprite. <laughs> Rana gave the most plausible explanation, so everybody else was convinced. What are we going to do? I recounted everything that had just happened. How Shion was targeted, and how she was antagonized by the customers, and the humiliation that was forced upon her. Also, how incredibly pathetic I was. I included everything without trying to hide it. Oh, I thought he was going to neglect that otaku kicked our butts. So, that's Alright, Satoko, I didn't have to invite you. Thank you, Rena. I disagree, Satoko. Rena's follow up stun a bit, but I could only be thankful that she understood. Satoko was calling me all sorts of names, but there were no malign intentions behind her words. Her voice was monotone, but there was a hint of resolve in her words. I replied to Rika-chan's suggestive silence in kind with my own quiet resolve. Well, yeah, I, there are four fat asses to deal with. I remembered when I was cornered by those thugs, what Shion had said about the strong feeling of solidarity in Hinamizawa really began to hit home. However, Keiichi Mayabara, now is not the time to get choked up with tears of gratitude. Now is the time to fight! <laughs> Okay, don't patronize me, Rika. Let's just focus on the problem at hand. Rika-chan gently pat my head for me. But there was no mindless pity in the palm of that hand. It was overflowing with the strong, dependable feeling of leave the rest to us. What are they gonna do? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because she's working here. <laughs> Everybody had already entered club mode. Their eyes peering at the riffraff clamoring or inside the restaurant like predators stalking their prey from the darkness. 
Thank you for joining in, DX, and I hope you have a wonderful sleep. And enjoy the cats tomorrow. <laughs> I will be finishing up the stream whenever we come to a convenient breaking point. Which is probably pretty soon, because it looks like we're about to get our justice. Rika held up her hand. <laughs> I'm a little disturbed by what Rika just said there. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do, Rika? <laughs> Rika was serious. She was really ready to pretty much murder someone. <laughs> uh, I'm counting on you, Rika. <laughs> Someone tells me Rika's got some, uh... <laughs> some deep stuff going on. <laughs> そんなに力まなくても大丈夫ですのよ。まあ、ご覧遊ばせ。ケイチさんがそのパフェを食べ終わる頃には、お掃除は終わってましたよ。Prove it. The most powerful warband the world has ever known, trained by Mion, began to move. I was the oldest, the only boy, and behaved like a leader. But when you consider our club activities, I was by far the most junior member. Individually, everyone besides me had terrifying combat capabilities. If all of them combined their strengths to protect Shion, I couldn't even imagine. I was probably about to witness something terrible and awe-inspiring. Oh, we got this... I don't like this. <laughs> I like the... The end. You know what? Hey, let's switch over to this and ha enjoy this with the other characters as well. For Shion to carry all five parfaits without wobbling took so much effort that she didn't have the breathing room to pay attention to her feet. Are they going to trip her again? Is this their only move? This is pathetic. It was the same wipey wipey scheme that had just occurred a short time earlier. This time, another one of them was trying it out for himself. The very depravity of these men was itself a full-out attack. Focus, Rena. Focus! Shion, her bottom swain while carrying the parfaits, was being chased by an equally swain Rena. She was supposed to be escorting Shion, but Rena was instead transfixed by the back of her uniform. Rena, snap out of it! From a normal person's point of view, it was probably like having a fox guard a hen house. But when it comes to Rena, things are different. Oh, brother. Your mouth barely even opened a pixel, Satoko. Shion's legs, unsteady and defenseless, were being targeted by those sleaze bags. Did this guy seriously just say El Mindfurer? Wow, just in case you didn't know we were supposed to be rooting against them. Shining Lucifer? Okay! A snake stepped out to trip Shion's defenseless feet, or a leg, not a snake. A snake! Three of them at once! It happened in an instant! The three fools writhed in pain as their legs bent at unnatural angles. Rena turned it into view and gave them a warning? <laughs> it's impossible! The human scum clutched at their bruised ankles as they passed out. <laughs> Why does her mouth only open by like two pixels? <laughs> I can't, I just had facial surgery. <laughs> I do like console uh, Satoko though. As Shion was making her rounds for the restaurant, there were people here and there collapsing with welts on their legs or hands. Is everybody doing it? 
Good job, Rena. I guess just looking is fine. That wouldn't prevent her from guarding Shion, so I guess it's okay. Anyways, thanks to this, I knew who had tried to mess with Shion. Anybody who was clutching at their arm or leg while they were arriving in agony was basically branded by their bruises. <laughs> Satoko was in the kitchen. She had spread open a sketch of the restaurant on the counter, replete with order chits and their destinations, and was now sorting through the freshly made desserts. Is she gonna like spit in them or something? <laughs> I, I like how all the waitresses are like, yes, please get rid of these idiots. <laughs> the veteran waitress was briskly directing her juniors as the trays went out one after another. All the desserts that had passed through Satoko's hands were delivered at once. <laughs> <laughs> Did Satoko spit in them? Certainly, they were all incredibly cute looking desserts. They were all works of art that you could enjoy with before even taking your first bite. However, since Satoko had meddled with them, they were nothing more than an unpredictable danger. Blissfully ignorant of the fact were the men now stuffing their faces. Uh, that's gonna reflect badly on the restaurant. <laughs> Almost right away, they realized that something was wrong. Satoko, what are you doing? We use salt instead of sugar. Okay, Satoko, you didn't do anything illegal. As she said that, she tore all the dubious fa file in her fingers before putting it smartly in her pouch. Come to think of it, I didn't see Rika-chan anywhere. Where could she be lurking? Several men stood up suddenly from their seats surveying the restaurant for something. Did you put, like, laxatives in the desserts? That rest was fidgeting. And that look of relief when they found the single placard hanging from the ceiling. Written on that placard was the word, restroom. They began a mad rush in that direction. It wasn't just one or two people. All the people who were branded as the enemy were standing up from their seats while clutching at their stomachs. <laughs> yep, she put in laxatives. Why are they saying meow? I don't want to know. Wow. I felt dirty just thinking about what Satoko probably did to their desserts. The problem was how to follow this up. I was intrigued, so I followed the rush of the men into the washroom. The narrow hallway connecting to the washroom was crammed with about ten men. <laughs> As I peered over to see what was happening, WHOA! It seemed that the toilet was clogged and backflowing, unleashing a loud gurgling sound and a terrible stench. There was no way to use it in this state. What? Rika, what did you do? Damn, that's Satoko. What a frightening display of power! No, this wasn't Satoko's doing. It was divine punishment. Yeah, they were just unlucky. I'll just apologetically ask one of the employees here to clean it up. <laughs> It was a brilliant combination of traps, but it would be better if there was one more push to the kicker. Seeing as it was Satoko, she wouldn't have overlooked that. Faced with a moral dilemma, that man had only one other option. The women's restroom. <laughs> uh, you would think that! 
Papa, Senora wa kaerare nu. That line just made me feel dirty. What a brazen bunch they are! The men, sweat now pouring from their brows, make a mad dash to the girls' room without any hesitation. Oh, Rika's gonna be there and be like, I'm calling the police, Nipa! <laughs> me? <laughs> there was a girl there. It was Rika. In the flesh, kids! The men stood there frozen in various complicated poses, indicating their surprise. Rika also seemed dumbfounded by the sudden turn of events. But the look on her face was strangely perfect. This was all part of the plan as well. You sly dog, Rika-chan. I should never underestimate you. Folks, do you see the problem here? Not not with the situation that's happening story-wise. I'm saying with this image here. Do you spot the problem? This is supposed to be the women's bathroom. So why do I see a urinal reflected in the mirror? You lazy boy! <laughs> Just by having a girl standing there in the restroom, I never knew it could put up such an overwhelming barrier. There was no way anybody could be brave enough to lift Rika-chan out of the way to try and do their business. Yeah, you're gonna get the police called on you. <laughs> this is the most they could do after all. If it were a man in a full club mode, for example someone like me, they would plow through Rika-chan without a second thought! Now what are you going to do, you fat asses? The price for tormenting Shion still hasn't been paid! <laughs> Uh oh. Why does this guy keep making cat noise? This guy's a furry. Rika Chan, with a pleasant smile on her face, guided them with a casual stride in her step. In this race against time, her slow pace was sadistic torture. Obeying Rika Chan's directions, they were about to leave the restaurant. I spread my arms out and blocked them as they tried to leave the restaurant. <laughs> this is not good. So it's gonna be, boys! Boom! You'll regret this! <laughs> Everyone panicked as Rika-chan began to turn back. They could only figuratively and literally fall in line. That also means Rika can't return. All the waitresses also lined up to see them off. Clang, clang. The bell rang playfully as the door shut behind them. There aren't any bathrooms here! <laughs> Rana and Satogo clapped their hands together. <laughs> Alright, fine. I was loath to admit it, but Satoko was right. Damn it! One day I'll be strong enough to be worthy to stand alongside them. Mi-chan's 
Well, we also pulled pranks, but for justice. And we made friends with all the waitresses because they hated them as well. The veteran waitresses was always smi also smiling. After the herd was sent packing, it had calmed down completely inside the restaurant. She almost flustered as she glanced between us and the now empty seats. Sharon's expression was somewhere between happy and guilt-ridden. Her face had turned slightly red as she ran into the kitchen. How are you only noticing this now? You were following her around and beating people up. Given Shion's personality, there's no way she'd thank us directly. We might have been a bit excessive in our means, but I'm really glad we were able to save her. Everyone's happy now. The applause quickly spread throughout the entire restaurant. Not only the other waitresses, but also the other customers that were genuinely there to enjoy the desserts. Everyone was lauding our efforts. Well, that was nice. We did. We made the world a better place. And all it took was some laxatives. When we had mostly finished eating and were filling out the survey, Rika-chan made her return. But she was able to re-enter. Oh, <laughs> How did she get lost just guiding people to a nearby toilet? あの時の圭一はひどいのです。僕を弾き飛ばして女子トイレに飛び込んだ。また俺考えが顔に出てたのか。<笑> If you've ever had a bathroom emergency. <laughs> Let's just not think about that. I could laugh about it then, but a few days later, a newspaper headline read, Ten unidentified men were taken into custody in Hideyama. The men claimed to have traveled from Shishibone City by foot to find a toilet, but the spot they were taken to into custody was excess kilometers away from Shishibone. When I read that article, I realized how terrifying Rika was actually was. Rika! That's going too far! Oops. Looks like I called her at a bad time. She's a real friend. まあ、非常時だから仕方ありませんわ。それに甘いものをいっぱいいっぱい食べさせてもらいましたですから、とても今日はありがとな。急に呼び出しちゃって。シオンによろしくとお伝えなのです。では失礼しますわ。レナさん
I at least want to finish up in the Angel Mort, because that's clearly about to finish. While Rena and I were having a discussion about the dessert we just ate, Shion arrived with some coffee. Oh. <laughs> I would like to put this little cherry in. <laughs> Hearing them called the little ones was so strange, I inadvertently burst out laughing. <laughs> Shion had brought enough coffee for four people. Senpai Shion seemed a bit hesitant when Rena started talking to her. Rena's pretty sharp about some things, so Shion was probably worried that Rena would find out she was Mion after talking like this. Shion said she'd have work soon and hurried off back to the kitchen, leaving behind coffee for just the two of us. もう一人のみーちゃんみたいな感じ。外見は似てるけど、雰囲気っていうか、中身は全然違うだろう。そういう双子も面白いと思うけどな。ケイチ君はそう思う中身もそっくりだと思うよ。ははは、ラナ<
髪の毛を上げて結んだらみーちゃんと見分けつかなくなるんだろうねうんそうだなじゃあさみーちゃんが髪をほどいたらやっぱりしーちゃんと見分けがつかなくなるのかな多分なでもそれとこれと何の関係があるんだよもしもだよ双子の妹なんて話は嘘であれは妹のふりをしてるみーちゃんだったらどう思う Yeah, we already knew this. Ren was sharper than her daily behavior belied. I was hesitant in verbally affirming that, but it was the right answer. I'm not sure if I'm going to ask you to ask me 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 After thanking me for the dessert, Rena stood up from her seat. Thanks, Rena. <laughs> you were so short tempered at the end of chapter one, but not until now. Rena was harsh in her apology, but I was the one who really should have apologized. Mee-chan that the mo so nani kinishte nai koto da to mo no. Da kara nakatta koto ni shite wasure chatte mo ii to mo nda kedo. Demo ne, onaji onna no koto shite wa Kei-chi kun ni jibun de kizuite jibun de ayamari ni kite hoshii na te yume o mee-chan no. Switching to cute mode only at the end, she disappeared in the direction of the register.